Welcome my friends from American Prep. I am Mrs. Inglesby and I work for Draper 2. Today we will be working on some drawings based on Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera was a famous artist from Mexico during the time of the Industrial Revolution and he painted these calla lilies um, in different ways. He painted it here we can see he painted it with the background of um, people from Mexico and we have a hole in the calla lilies on this one. And then he again has another version of his calla lilies. And I think they are very beautiful depicted. We have this one that he also painted in almost like a family setting with their calla lilies carrying them. Here's some more calla lilies being harvested. Here's another one with a young girl. And they have very pretty lines on their cow lilies. And then we have this one, which is the one that we are going to attempt to draw today together. And this one is also from Diego Rivera. So today we're gonna draw it and you can color it at home if you have something to color it with. If not, we can color it when you get back to school. So this is kind of one of the final drawing that we are going to encounter at the end of our drawing. I will be drawing this slowly, step by step. We will be, the only things that we will be needing is a brand new piece of paper that you may have at home, a pencil, and an eraser. That's all we will be using today to draw this. So together, we'll, let's begin. And we're gonna start drawing our lady and the cow lily, we're gonna start drawing her from the middle. So if we were to look where she is starting on our page, let's take a look at it. We look at it, she's starting, this is about half, a little above half of our page in the middle. That's when we're gonna start with her head. So the first thing that we're gonna have is this curvy line for the shape of her head. And I'm going one curvy line. And I'm pressing a little harder for you guys to see. The next line that we have is this is gonna be her braid. So it's gonna go down and I'm just making the lines with my curvy lines where they're gonna go. The next thing I have, it's her face and it comes with a curvy line and it ends right where her poncho begins. And we're gonna have, have a curvy line going down and we'll have another curvy line on here going down. And this curvy line is gonna come almost into a B. We have this curvy line going. There's no details in it, we're just kind of creating the shapes. The next thing we have is a curvy line here going down and then we have another curvy line that is kind of curve. Excuse me, my friends. It's gonna curve down, so it's gonna come here and it's gonna curve down. And from here, there's another curvy line down. And then she has what well, she had her feet. And her first one, it starts up here. And it's one curvy line, curves back down, and it curves back out, almost like a peanut shape. And we have the other foot, the same thing, one curvy line. like a peanut shape and I'm trying to make it so they look about the same size so both feet are kind of the same size and I'm erasing the inside part of the foot because we kind of do details if the foot is there we won't be able to see what's in front of it Ok, 
Okay, the next thing that we have going is her arm coming out up here because she's kind of hugging those cowlilies and from thick and to thin curvy lines. Then we have her hand. Her hand has one curvy line up and at this point I just want you to create a curvy line too. So just the fingers on that side. On the other side we have her hand coming a little farther down, not at the beginning, and it's the same thing. We have the finger that goes one curvy line up, and then we're gonna create just a curved line for the suggestion, almost like a mitten. We're just gonna do the suggestion of the hand at that point. And we're gonna create it right there. This is the basic sketch for Our Lady that it's in there. The next thing we're gonna do is her cowl lilies. And hopefully you had time to do some of the practice sheets to have your shape of your cowl lilies. So the first one is gonna come up, up here and I'm gonna draw that shape that you practice. This almost looks like a heart with the curvy lines going down instead of getting together. And in the middle, it has curvy lines with the little stem coming out. This is our calla lily thing. Before we fill out with the whole calla lilies, I wanna make sure kinda where I wanna go. So with my, very lightly with my pencil, I'm gonna create like a little round, and this is, I'm going very light, very light uh, over here and it's very big and it's kind of gonna go over my page a little if i'm gonna try to keep it in my page in this circle that i made here or semi-circle over here it's gonna guide me where i want to draw all my cow lilies in so i'm gonna start in the next one you know i don't get to see the whole thing because it might be behind one so then i get and it starts the closer ones are bigger, so it's long and big. And then we have a curvy line and our stem. And I'm gonna do it again, this one C part. And I go down, curvy line, and I get my stem coming out. I'm gonna do another cow lily over here, and this one is gonna calm down. And I have the curvy line in the middle and my stem. As you can see, as they are closer to us, they are bigger. So I'm making this, like I know, my curvy lines, I go another stem. And maybe here's another one that I get to see partially. And sometimes our stems will be bigger. And if they are bigger, we just erase what's inside of it. So I can make my stem bigger because it's closer. Once I get to go, I'm gonna start filling it up the top. Now, if you can see the next one, I don't get to see my whole calorie because it's behind that one. So I have there. And then I have another one over here that I don't get to see. And this one seems a little big. Because as we start going up, they're gonna start getting just a little bit smaller. So I have my calorie and maybe get to see part of it. And the next one, I have another curvy line over here. And again, the curve in the middle and my calorie. As I start getting to the edge, I might not get to see completely once. So I get a curvy line, and this one I get another curvy line. And maybe I'll get to see something. As I get to my top, and my flower starts looking on the top, they're gonna start kinda sitting a little sideways. So I'm gonna do the same thing, curvy line, curvy line, but now my stems are going up. And then I have this one, 
and I just do the shape and it's behind it and I have another curvy line and I start deleting what goes inside if I go over a line on my stem then I kind of create another one and then I have this one maybe I only get to see partial again because it's behind it same thing here I get to see the stem Mass another one over here, but I don't get to see the stem in there. I'll continue here by her face. This one, I get to see the stem because it's close to me. This next one over here is comes long. And the same thing I have. Excuse me, I apologize for that. We have the stem and the line that goes down. Same here. There's a curvy line that ends on a point. And we have the cowlily going. There's my stem. And there is this one is kind of big again because it's at the edge. And as you can see, I'm using the circle that I did before as a reference of where I'm having them, not necessarily where I'm positioning them. And then keep going and filling that circle up with curvy lines and my stands. Here I'm making another one. And I have another stand coming up. And maybe here I get to see just part of one. Here I get to see part of one. And I keep going. As I'm going up, again here, my color lilies start turning up. So now I get my stems are starting to go, depending where my color lily is showing. I have top one, another curvy line. Because they're all so many together, it starts getting this, as long as you do the curvy lines, curve line, you start seeing them. Another curvy line, there are so many together that we get to see parts of it, not the whole flower here. Here's another curvy line and it goes down and here's the stem and maybe this one we'll get to see that much. Maybe this one closes in there, we'll get to see part. Then we have another one. And here we got another one. Remember I start going up my flowers. This one is still sideways a bit. So I get to see my stems to the side and maybe this one even goes beyond but as I start going up it starts happening the same thing I start seeing them go up on the stem and then we have some up here And I'm gonna continue to fill them up quickly. I'm gonna start going a little faster just so I can finish doing this calla lilies. Here's where not all of us is gonna have it the same, but we can have the same effect of our calla lilies going around. The only difference that I'm gonna make here is that towards the top of my flowers, when I'm going to start finishing them up, I'm going to have my stands. Probably I'm going to see the stem coming up and then I'm going to have my flower going like this. So I'm going to have my stem coming up and then I'm going to have another curvy line with my flower going up. And 
that's what I'm going to keep on going. Line and the curvy line and I keep doing my flowers. And then I get another curvy line. And here's my flowers forming. They all look like they're a whole bunch of them together. Depending where my flowers are on the top, I get to see the full stem going out. That's the stem and maybe I get to see part of the flower. Curvy lines. I get to see my flowers. This one is still a little bit sideways. I can have this one. I can finish another flower. Got another flower with my curvy lines because they're all together, as you can see. We get to form our flowers. And then we have our bunch of flowers in there. The next thing that we have is those stems at the bottom that we saw in our picture. The stems are very stylized. They're not uh, realistic like except for the shadows, but we're gonna see this nice lines going down that she's hugging. So at the beginning, we get to see a few appear. They're just curvy lines, trying to space them. And then we're gonna see this is what's going on. Oops, I'm trying to follow the first curve that I started. And I keep going with my curvy lines. I'm not worrying about the ends, I'm just creating pier and then from the end of her hand here that she can then we're gonna turn we're gonna turn the curvy lines going a little more from the because we don't get to see them and the same thing we're gonna create on the other side here she is carrying them. We don't get to see much is going on here, but we know that she has a few. And I'm trying to keep my curvy lines going down. And this is our basic drawing. The next thing that I'm gonna start focusing on is the little details inside of her. And one of the details what we have is that she has a braid, right? She has a braid going right here. And it kinda curves, we see this. It's kinda curving and then it's kinda cross. Her braids are gonna cross right there. That got it a little too long. And then she has this line over here for her head. It's a curvy line when it curves. The next thing we see is, is this poncho right here. Exposes part of her neck. So we're gonna do a curvy line right there. And then we have that the poncho has some kind of, some kind of this folds get form as she's lifting her arm. So we're gonna create this by creating these lines going in the same shape of a poncho of, in a B form. And the next thing that we see is at the end here in the shoulders, because the fabric goes over and it's in a curve on both sides because it's bulging a little bit from the poncho. So that's where we get some of those details and we can do some textures and we'll talk about that. Next thing we're gonna focus on is on those feet. So she has a line in here on both sides of her feet, that are curvy lines. And then we got her big toe 
and then her smaller toes come from there. Two, three, four, and five. It gets to be all small. I delete the land, and then the same thing here. I get to see the first toe, and then my second and third are curvy lines, my four and my fifth. And then I delete that first part of that curvy line. That just showed me where her feet went. That way I have those, and I'm just marking a little harder the lines that I got because I got more than one line going. So here's my curvy line. Remember my friends, if I'm going too fast, you can stop, pause it, rewind it so we can do it again. Okay, or you can catch up to where I'm at. So this part right here is part of my person. The next one's to start on the stems. In order to do a braid, this could be a whole class just on how to do a braid, but I'm gonna show you the easiest way. We're gonna start about here, and I want you to go one diagonal line, another diagonal line, and we're gonna follow that braid in the middle, making this, and as we go, of course, they're gonna get smaller because there's less hair. And the same thing on the other one. There is my diagonal line in the middle of my braid. And it starts getting smaller. The easiest way to do this now from here you can extend you're extending those lines of the diagonal line forming and you're extending it here and then you extend this one and you extend that one. We're extending Our diagonal lines to create this braid right here. Same thing on the other side. We're going to extend our lines. There comes our first one. Then we extend our second one, extend our third one, and our fourth one. And it keeps getting smaller. And then we'll go on the other side and we'll extend our lines from bottom to top on that zigzag. And those braids are formed. In order for her not to make this braid so um, so stiff, the only difference is that she's rounded. We can round the ends of it up here with curvy lines instead of, we have one big curvy line. Now I'm kind of separating by making individual curvy lines of my braid on both sides for each compartment I'll make one same here and then we have her braids nicely done for her fingers we're gonna have stars right here and it's gonna curve up into that and our first one, it curves and it bends right there because she's holding something. So we have two, three, four, and five. In order to make them look like fingers, you're gonna curve each end and then just delete that part in the middle of there. And then we have our first hand. Second hand is going to work the same way. So the first one, it kind of goes down and then it's going to go up in a little curve inside that oval that we have. And the next finger we have is two and then we have three, four, and five. And in order to make it look realistic, work on a curve each finger. One, two, three, and four. By curving now we have our hand holding and delete that extra part of our mitten that it was here. The next thing that we have to work on is the end of our 
stamps. And as you can see, they were idealistic and they almost ended up in little squares. What I'm gonna do, I'll create my square with this too. And I'm gonna fold one like it's going back down. Here, I'm gonna create, take this too, make a little square or rectangle and create one that goes back up and it hides. Here, I'm gonna do the same thing. If it's too long, I'm starting it close. I create a little rectangle with this bottom one. Oh, I go to the next one. With my next two, I'll do the same thing. I'll create a little rectangle or square and I create the bottom one to go. Same here. And that's where it ends. The ones to the side, you're not gonna see much. It's the one diagonal line, and then you tuck it in, diagonal line, and close it. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna get our first one is a little square or rectangle, right? So we're gonna get this too. Create a little rectangle touching this first two and with the bottom one goes in. The next one I do the same thing. Make a little rectangle and then create one that goes back. Same thing with my next one. My next two lines I create a rectangle or a square that touches two and the bottom I'll tuck it in and stop it right there. And I start deleting the big extra. Lines we have, we have another two. Make a line across and make a little rectangle among those two. And this one, I drag it until I hit something in a curvy line. This one, I only have one, so it will be good. I'm gonna make another one. Make a little straight line vertical line make my rectangle and with this one I pull it until I don't see it and then my friends we are done with our drawing we can outline it like I did with mine with black sharpies and do some color or if you have colors you can try coloring it up I'll be putting this one up to guide you as for color so you can see it thank you my friends and until next time